Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to work on this uh, Epson R2880. You know, every time you clean the printer, the printer is going to suck some ink out of the printhead and uh, put the waste ink somewhere. For this model, Epson hide the waste ink inside the printer until one day it cannot hold anymore and uh, you're going to get an error about the uh, part is not working. I think it's full, sir. That's ridiculous! The last tree held nine drums! Your printer is going to light up like a Christmas tree and uh, begging you to take to the technician. And uh, the absent technician is going to charge you arm and legs. Today we're going to reset the counter ourselves. And uh, also we're going to install external tanks so the ink will be dumped into the uh, ink tanks rather than a pad. First, you need to uh, install the drivers. I assume if you own the printer, you've got to have a driver, but I just like a precautionary just mentioned that you need a, uh, the factory driver installed. So you can go search for R2880. And make sure you go to Epson.com, not uh, like EpsonDriver.com, drivers.epson.com, uh, something like that. So go to Epson. Uh, dot com, the real website, and uh, with a few seconds, you're going to see the automatic populates with your uh, printer, uh, with your computer's uh, version, and uh, then you can click and uh, download the driver and utility combo. And this combo is kind of funny. Uh, okay, I, I let me try it three times. Okay, so whenever you fire up the the file download, I just click OK, and. Uh, it doesn't give you uh, like a user interface or anything, and it once down, it shuts down, and you thought it didn't do anything. Actually, it's already completed. And you can see, it doesn't really give you any prompt or anything. So if you just go proceed and close, and uh, the window can close. The way to check is go to your uh, windows and uh, go to printer and drivers and uh, find that the R2880 and uh, go to the printer preferences. And uh, if you see this nice graphic with all the bells and whistles, and you'll get the factory uh, driver installed. Uh, otherwise, you're going to see like a much fewer options. Oh, by the way, uh, you have to plug your printer into the USB. Uh, you cannot do the wireless. I don't think you can do wireless anyways <laughs> for this printer, but uh, you do need an USB and you need a PC. Okay, now we go to a website called inkchip.net. It's .net, not .com. And uh, click WIC uh, on the top, and uh, you're going to have this uh, list of models. Do a search, find your models. For example, here's a 2880, so uh, that means it's compatible. And then next, we go find the English. Click English, it will download the English version of the software. You're going to see a, a, a download icon on the left corner of your browser. After it's done, you can fire up the download. When the download is completed, it should put some icons on your desktop called Inkchip. Fire up the English version and click the With Ink Counter. And uh, click this drop down, you should be able to see your printer there. And select the printer, and we're going to read the With Pad. And uh, here you can see it's about 60% full. The second pad is about 40%. And uh, the customer is going to convert this printer to DTF, so which will fill it up right away. So I'm going to reset it. So don't buy the key until you are able to see your printer and you're able to read the information out of your printer. So now we're ready to buy the key. We go back to Inkchip that night, and on the top you can see a Buy button. Click Buy. And uh, next to WIC, select uh, how many keys you want to buy. So we're going to get one key today. So get okay, add to cart. And uh, you're going to see cart become one, one item. So click the cart. And uh, then proceed to check out. You should be able to get the key instantly after you submit your payment. It usually takes me more time, a uh, longer time to download the software than get, get the key. The key is uh, just insanely long string of uh, characters. I think they must hire some little guy there just to make up those uh, words so they can send it to people as a key. When you click Submit, it will say Done, and uh, please restart the printer. OK, let's go restart the printer. After the printer is restarted, you should be able to read all the counters to be zero. 
There it is. Okay, so now it's done resetting. Now we're going to add an external waste tank on it. Open up the front door and uh, take off this piece. It's very easy to take off and just uh, wiggle it a little bit if uh, you have a hard time. Now we need to take uh, this left panel, uh, not left, uh, the right side panel off uh, to take it off. And uh, you, you're going to find out you have to remove a long plate in the back. My body will be in the middle, but there are basically three screws, uh, one in the middle and uh, one on each side. Wiggle a little bit and this part is out. Now you can pry the silver tabs a little bit and uh, then lift the cover, lift it all the way up and uh, the cover is going to come off. Uh, you're going to see the two waste the tubes right here. Now we're going to get some supplies. We can go to bchtechnology.com and uh, go to accessories, scroll down to waste tank and uh, you need uh, one side of this uh, 25 millimeter uh, which include a bottle, one tube, one vacuum, and one connector. Also, you need uh, another set of connector, and uh, you might want another set of tube if you want a longer tube. So, because of this one, the this kit only have one tube and one connector. You're going to see we have two with tubes to work with. So we got a bottle and uh, tubes and. Uh, uh, accessories there and also we got another uh, another set of tube and the connector. We're gonna squeeze the metal clamp and slide slide it uh, to the inside of tube. Now we're gonna put a tube out. I feel like a tube inside tube is pretty hard to pull out. When you pull off the ink will be everywhere so be prepared. We're gonna attach the new tube to the connector and uh, there will be two of them. And uh, only connect the uh, tube to the lower portion of the connector. Don't do not slide the tube all the way up. Uh, put on the, the top part. Otherwise, the tube might be may split. And then move the clamps and uh, clamp the clamp the, the connector on the bottom. And now I'm pulling another one out. The bottom one is always harder to pull. And it should be an easy slide in. And uh, you shouldn't feel like a heart. I almost feel like the tube is, is a little bit lar larger than what you, uh, than, than the connector. So the key is put a clamp there, a clamp it down. And now I can feed the tubes and uh, all the way to the back. Uh, easier, easier way to do is go through the middle first, then from the middle and try to thread it over and uh, put another finger in the back and uh, pull it out. Now we're going to test the uh, artistic side of you. Uh, let's see where you want to put uh, the tank. I, I want to put a, like a right here. So I'm going to drill two holes. What if I don't have a drill? Well, huh, you'll find another way. And now before you being too happy and put uh, the, uh, this long plate on, uh, make sure to put uh, back, uh, the back this silver plate on first. For the silver plate, your focus is to push it down. So just line it up and press down and it should lock itself. And after you put it, you're going to see a couple tabs on the side of the silver plate that can line up with uh, this long black plate. And uh, everything fits perfectly. And uh, we can put the uh, screws back. And uh, then uh, we can put uh, the front plate back. And uh, now it's time to uh, decide how long the tube can be and uh, where we put the waste tank. Uh, I need to mention the Velcro is not that sticky. It's not for you to glue it to the printer. It just helps you when you, for example, if you touch the bottle, it don't tip over. And uh, don't hand it over the uh, edge of the table and the second they come in and uh, you get a waste tank on the floor. Uh, okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.